Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperator Rome Invictus Sogdia here on the Lord Master channel as we are on the fourth episode as this game loads as as we have well somewhat of a big plan even if it isn't related to one of the Sogdian missions one of the objectives of the Sogdian mission even though this would actually be a one little key thing that would help us that'll get us to Bactria which is our major goal of that series as we will remind you of what this is of this mission it's called 10,000 hoes just remember to finish the mission the ultimate goal is the apotheosis of Sogdia so to get there you gotta do all of these and all that Especially that this would eventually lead to down there. And don't forget the other way around. But here's my plan. So, we were originally going to have Xanthia as a useful ally, but apparently that will not be the case. Because the reasons why is because they broke up with us. Even though it is possible that we could improve relations, befriend the ruler and all that to re rebuild this alliance, but I've come to the realization that um, they still have a cash spell I own, Khorasmia. And it isn't going to go away anytime soon. In which we have to act fast, and to do that, we got to fabricate a claim on Chorasmia, particularly in the province of Scythia Magna, Greater Scythia. Even though it's not a strategically important objective, but there is one little important thing that makes it so. This bit down here. And there. Uh, oh, actually, this is under their control. But this bit here. If we can just expand to there, we need to make contact with the Seleucid Empire. And the reason for that is, we want to start a war with Bactria in any way, shape, or form. Our manpower is full, we're ready for a war of any kind. Even if we can take casualties, that would be considered unacceptable to our standards of waging war. That is to um, do this. You've got to befriend the wife of the current ruler of the Seleucids. Because see, it says here, and this is the most important one. Declare war on Bactria without the aid of the Seleucid Empire due to the relationship with us. This was originally meant to be started early on, but I'm sure it's a bit odd, but it'll probably happen in the fifth or sixth episode or so on, whenever we get to that point. Because we need to expand to there, make contact with them, and if we don't make contact with them because of the diplomatic range, then we'll have to rely on research advances, which we're trying to make progress here, and for future reference. So we'll put that under planning mode here. Start there. And then you gotta head to there, to there, and then there. So get four innovations when they all turn level two, and we're gonna use up all this. This will give us a diplomatic reputation, slight reduction of monthly tyranny, more political influence, um, and smear reputation costs reduced to smear somebody. But the uh, Increases the success chance of all trials if we ever decide to hold a trial for whatever reason. And then this for diplomatic range plus 15, and this should get us close enough to meet with the Seleucids. So this is our best shot at this. Expand to there, then we'll be meeting with the Seleucids, not, you know, to the point where we want to wage war between one another. No. 
we simply are going to tell them to leave Bactria alone. It isn't their priority anymore. Yeah. So as we know, that Sogdia has grown. And I'm sure that when we fight for Scythia Magna, we do not intend to go further deep into um, Scythia Ultima and Scythia Ad Pontum. We don't intend to go this way. We simply just want this area, so hopefully it would reach for the south enough to to get in contact with him. But if this fails, then we have to go for this. And we hope to the gods that Scythia does not take Scythia Magna. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to war against them. And there'll be no interference, except maybe the allies. But since our manpower is large enough now, uh, that we can get it filled, I think it's about time that we will create our first league. I mean, yes, our manpower is full, and yes, it's going to cost us money. But I still remember, because this is what I proposed. So count them. Four, six, eight. But I would like to have one more for the cohort, but you can add an add for for future reference. So it's gonna cost us nearly all of our manpower, but then again we are used to the where are we are used to um, being the fact of you know, having low manpower as we were in the early episodes. And we know how to get more manpower now. And, uh, and all that. But the maintenance cost? Not too much. Well, it's manageable. Because we simply need a, you know, a professional army with damn good generals. So, we're going to list some candidates for Legion of So, on Legion creation, uh, the first commander will become the Legate and assume control of any created unit. And I see that you are one of the best, as you got a very high march skill, as you are a disciplined man. He's healthy, he's forgiving, plain speaking, but disciplined. Now that's a conduct of a true soldier. So that's what we want. That's just a small professional army, small net standard, because eight cohorts. That's four thousand strong. So. Let me see the other candidates. And remember, our navy is strictly for transport. So eight, nine, eight, twelve. So looking at the marshals here. So, this is going to be the Legion of Sogdiana, first of its kind. We'll spend quite a bit of gold, and we can maintain it, even though it's low priority right now. But, let's do it. It is a large step for a nation to show that has the resources to keep a standing army. As we have formed the Legion of Sogdiana, we now stand as a nation above others. Our glorious nation enters a new era of professional soldiers that will show no mercy to our enemies. Additionally, they will be able to forge a legacy of their own. Bravery or lack thereof shall determine its character. The new era has begun. So, you will be awarded with Primogenia. So, as you can see here, 
the first born among the legions. This is the oldest and most venerable fighting unit that the soldier can be part of. Even though this is technically a royal guard <laughs> at this point. Even though it, it'll have limited food supplies, we don't have a supply train. But whenever there's room to expand again, then um, we'll add it. Yes, this will do. And Legion dedication here. The founding of any standing legion is a monumental day in the history of our nation. With pride and honor, our loyal troops shall remember the oaths they swore whenever they do battle against our foes. So in addition to that, they'll have more morale of armies up, slightly faster army movement speed, and more of the discipline. So they will fight hard. And those Scythians out there, they're going to be in for a rude awakening. And as well as the use of our levies to support them. So yes, we used up most of our manpower, but we got a couple of months. Even though claims expect to be ready for next year. I don't know if we have next year. If they... If Cynthia starts a war, then, uh, then we're going to be in for, well, we're going to be in for a war against Cynthia. We have no choice. If they take it before us, we have to fight them. So here are Tribune. These three are Tribunes. Yes. Yeah. Well, switch that, actually. Burrs is going to be the man for the job, as he is disciplined. In fact, even more disciplined to this army, then um, that'll be good. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware of all of this. We'll find you a post. Okay, which one of you is a minor character? You. Oh, the statesmanship being low. Rather have you as a researcher if there is room. Ten. Why aren't you in the army? I wonder why we've been falling behind technologically. Is there anyone better at this sort of thing? That is from a prominent family? Huh? No? No. Oh, I got it. Actually, that's not. That's a minor character. Here, you can run the navy for us. Since this army is just formed. See too if you can get there in a couple of months time. Just walk to there and then be stationed here. Then these ships will come pick you up. Unless you can get it fast enough. <laughs> uh, best tactic for this, um, we'll leave it with shock action. Because the Scythians like to envelop and this is a way to punch through. Remember, they're not good for long-term expeditions, but they will do. And we'll get our manpower up as fast as we can. 
even though it's only wishful thinking. Please remember, we're trying to get the sackets integrated. By the time that they're integrated, this will increase the size of our levees. Because we're mainly in second land now. And, uh, you know what? Do add another ship. That's why they broke up alliance of us. They're not going after Quasmia yet. They want Eastern Oral. They ought to pay for this. So increasing the leads may less cost just for doing that. So we can get their morale up, that's the reason. Again, next November. When it comes, then we will start a war against them unless they did first, which is something I'm definitely worried about. And if they declare war on us, then then that's it for them. We'll be taking... I'll be more than happy to take Chorasmia off of them. Never has a more devout man existed at the Kach. Our people clamor at every door to the temple, demanding that we declare a feast in his honor. I'll be willing to spend that large amount of money for more stability. As much as I would like to um, change that pantheon a little, I mean, having a passive discipline would be excellent. But remember, that's 15. So I think we need another good event, a positive event, due to the statesmanship of one of the people's in the office and then we will switch that but I'm still keeping the uh, fleet minutes lowered because there's no navies to oppose us they don't have one they don't have it neither do the back trains Nobody. This is strictly transport. So take your time to keep on walking. It is a small army, but they will be supported by levies whenever war breaks out. And should there be a future war with the factory, remember, you got mercenaries. And it'll cost you quite a bit. Even though I would prefer this because larger numbers to add for the support. But remember, if you're going to hire mercenaries, they start off with zero morale. So you got to do it before the war. Whenever that time comes. This fleet here is strictly, you know, fast employment. War proposal? Are you at war with somebody? Is it 
using the green ring upon Kucha. I believe you have gone too far. We'll decline the offer. So this proposal was shot down. You two duke it out yourself. We have other plans. But it should be kept in mind that Sooner or later, we're going to go after your lands. You know, that lake is rather attractive. Which I was considering save it up until after we liberate Sogia. Sogia proper. Who dares? Of course. If you do indeed break that alliance, I will activate that. Oh. Heated debates at Cordon on the Comp, especially where so many prominent members of society are involved. Lately, a wave of xenophobia has swept across Sokka, resulting in foreign values being regarded with great distrust. All attendants at today's debate agreed uh, that Spitaminis has crossed the line today, accusing the King Sanctus of indulging barbaric Dural Trigon practices. You got a lot of jobs. I'll turn the other cheek on that one. Done anything yet? We have no need for gold, as much as I would like to have that. But but hey, higher stability also gives you more research points, which is something that we're trying to, you know, get very very soon. Not even halfway there. That's going to be all the ships that we'll build for now. So there, stationed at boot. Keep an eye on them. So our plan is to, you know, fast deployment. As much as I would like to make them continue to walk all the way over there. But I would prefer just... I didn't know you were a poet. Also, he's got Metagra. Never noticed that. Unable to levy more pups. Claimed by Saldian. Yes. We're relying on our own army now, but to make that up, that's the reason why we're integrating the Saga people there, which is largely the inhabitants of the city that we control we go to that you know we lose our ability to have the heavy cavalry huh? Also drill the army. Yeah, this is build road, but you gotta have civic advances for level four, greater than four. That's 
gives you the ability to do that. But we'll drill them for a bit. Nobody's this slow over there. And neither there. Who dares? Hold in front of the court. Oh god, man. This is a sorry sight. Caught to the length of chain in hand. He's said to be ready to strike down Barzun uh, in a brutal act of violence. Luckily, passers by were quick enough to act and prevent this terrible deed. Now I have the inevitable task of pressing judgment onto the wicked eye. The Dedger will straighten him out. Less of a problem now. There. That's all the ships will build. Oh, you're not breaking up with us? You're not? Kucha offers friendship. We received an envoy sent by King Anta Pindike, ruler of Kucha. He offers our ruler, Sam Dish, for his personal friendship. Yes, this could be useful. between the religious echelons of our society and the peasants recently come to light. As the populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our high priest and his attendants demand that distance need to do their jobs properly. And the argument, the peasants have no right to the inner workings of our religious ceremonies. The peasants are right. It's time to open the gates of the temples. Our stability is so high that I believe it's high time to um, change uh, the deity of war. I mean, there's some good ones out there that we could use. Ooh, that's rather attractive, even though. Plan 2.59 plus Legion maintenance cost reduction. It's also pretty attractive, but I would much prefer the discipline to go for more of the ritualistic because that's who we are and a happiness for our populations in general. You know, there are more ritualistics than there are heptatics. So. Switch it to Infusion War. We have the passive effect of, of plus three discipline. Which one? Look, how much total discipline do we have? So, there. Up to the manageable, even though we'll lose the benefits of research. I would rather keep that, because food's always a problem. Unless you want to replace it with this. Okay, looking for future weapons. No, we're going to be keeping this. Plus, that maintenance cost is going up, the monthly cost, because we're drilling for the next few months. We just want to get them ready for war and, and all that. And once they're ready, they will embark.
that's it. The Talus region acts as a corridor, funneling invading armies and curious traders that all seek in the same that same thing. I mean, by different means, controlling this area with its access both into the hinterlands and the northern routes to the Fergana Valley has become a priority for our nation. But its remoteness will make fabricating claims take time. So this will take about a year before we will spend on the spend our money and political influence to get a claim on Talus. And later, in turn, the rest of this. Especially when we get to that lake over there. Now, do check discipline of our armies. Like, where do you see that in? general as far as you know statistics is concerned or maybe you should just take a look at this one army of ours that's navy We got a spearman now. Well, just assume that you have a lot of discipline these days. It's just I wish there was some way that we could, you know, read that. Besides the ones that we already have. Let me look it up one more time. I mean, I won't be leading my armies anymore as much as I would like to. Because all that's been claimed by the Royal Guard. And we would have to, you know, rely on, you know, one from all the way from Kashka and the other by boot. In fact, that's how we're going to do it. Our army goes in, and, the, and then the ships will come back and transport um, these people here. And then, uh, then we'll ship them. That's how it's gonna reflect. It's just quick drop offs. Yeah, that's what makes this uh, Navy or Flotilla, in a general sense, more useful to us for fast transport rather than just marching all the way down. Like, if you need uh, levies to, you know, say, Deploy them at Alexandria Scotte. Well, that's where it ends. And for future reference, I may build a port here. If we're willing to get our local city building sought up, get a port there, then, then we're golden. Start of the war, so Scythia Magna will be ours for the taking. Humane conduct. This will up our diplomatic reputation up, which will help us in the long run. The concept of battlefield honor has existed for millennia. Nonetheless, we should set down a code for dealing with our opponents. That we ourselves might receive a fair treatment in defeat. Needs one of. Needs one of, as in, you know. As in, like, one of these must be true thing. Needs, needs, needs one of. So, say that's the idea here. He's got charisma for a five-year-old, but I would ri really like to see his martial go up, because already you're better than Artaxerxes. 
I may consider switching that over to anoint him, but of course that's going to hurt the legitimacy and uh, be spending a little more on that plague on things. But we'll do it after the war. If you're willing to take a legitimacy hit. So, stop drilling. That's what I ask. Stop drilling. So eight cohorts, eight ships, and nine. That's a copy. Kucha would help us, but I believe we can manage. I want Kucha to be well rested for the upcoming Bactrian War and possibly the war of our former ally up there. So, let's go for it. Do not worry. Get on board. Move to them. In fact, this area here is the capital of Kalesmia. But there's still a fortress that you must take. Even though our best general of the uh, of the levies is him. But we already got a better general. I mean, he runs the professional army. So ready? Bro. Anybody down there? They moved capitals. Oh, actually, it's down there. Okay, my mistake. Although we would have seen their levies deployed. So it's like, yeah, we did your job at drilling. But um, where do we see on the side? amount of experience that you've got. So in this case, move to here. And once they're deployed inland, then uh, we're going to come pick you up. Uh, movement locked. This is a bad idea. This is your first test. You are deployed Tribune. Even though you're not the... I got... Do what you gotta do. They had the same idea. No turning back now. We gotta go get reinforcements. Took an amphibious landing. But we managed. With minimal casualties. Thanks to the discipline that we all have. Which I didn't even look at the discipline during the battle. Got him. Ready? Now head to there and give him some help. Because there's a lot of them. Just hold your ground, man. Great forces will come. And there's no port to land on, so you're gonna have to pump it out. So we might be slightly outnumbered, but we have the morale and the discipline to make a difference. Yes. You still got a long way, partner. Because you're the one with the infantry, cavalry, and spearmen. 
so we're all on our we are on our own out here. Take the objective. All together. So we have some cavalry and infantry support now. For the stability. Just to get a little bit of research points. I'll remain there. When it gets close to Alexander Scott, go pick them up. Just need to take this capital, then take this fort. Going up there first. We'll follow you. Actually, no, we move faster. Give it a few days, and then we'll move up to you. See, now it's very likely our side will win. We just need to know what tactic that they're using, and then we'll counter it with another. Battle will begin on the 10th of March. Okay, what are you using? He's going for skirmishing. What counter skirmishing? Deception. Old tactic. Whoops. Get back to the battlefield at hand. Commander switched. Look at the discipline. Fusion of War. A little bit of that active drill that was. Uh, no, that's part of the name of tech. Our professional trading, that's another. And Royal Guard. An infusion of War is the, is the name of this ritualistic deity. That's what this is. The spirits will infuse our warriors and soldiers with strength and discipline. We are certain to see many victories in the near future with the aid of the spirits. Together we are the strongest of spirits. that fort down. See, we knew how to combat against the Scythian cavalry that was so infamous. We know how to counter against them. But now let's bring down this fort. And anyone else that stands in our way, that's in small with numbers. because we got them all. Again, we don't need coaches' help. We can handle that ourselves. But we'll get additional reinforcements sooner or later. Wherever they are. I forgot. Okay. about as far as it could go, it could go to Jaxartes. This is why we need to build a port here. Because it'll be good for the city economically. And as well as uh, another place for the ships to rest. So instead, uh, I guess those reinforcements are going to have to wait a little longer. So, head to Jaxartes Settlement.
Too bad I'm not in this army anymore. I have the siege ability. Instead, we're going to have to do it the old way. Again, Scythia Magna will not fall until this fort is taken. And I would most likely destroy that uh, fort and place it here instead. That's one of the uh, objectives for the mission. Yes, I know it's outside of the naval range, but all the more reasons why we ought to go get the port uh, built in the future. So, hurry up. We don't have time. That outline. I know it's not within naval range. We're not made for it. If I had more of these, then I'd be willing. Love to get our silk kucha, huh? That thing again. Okay, you're there. So it's gonna take you how long till you're on board? In a couple of days. Oh, they call you the wolf. <laughs> like that. Remember, the 19th of August, they're going to be on board. They're on board. They're a little damaged, but they'll manage. Hurry up. We're gonna get additional reinforcements soon. You see the usefulness of the transport uh, flotilla or fleet, whichever terms you wish to use. They're at naval range now. All the more reasons why we gotta have a port in Alexandria Scott. Here comes innovation number two, official orders. Employing skilled speakers to proclaim our decrees, laws, and decisions will lessen the chances of fermenting dissent and unhappiness. So, in about, oh, a uh, few months, no, a few years, in fact, that will get town cries. Then we'll have the diplomatic range and we will make contact with the Seleucid Empire. Oh, hold your ground, everybody. Go for shock action. The best tactic that you have. Where the hell are those reinforcements? They had second thoughts. This fort will be ours, so it won't matter. Northern excursions. Although the frigid mountain passes of the tallest region are on the doorstep of Barska, we must admit that we do not entirely control the region, something that we shall hopefully change in days to come. Once our claims and strategic territories are complete, slowly and steadily, we shall secure the Nordic Mountains in future. Scandalous the news. 
While the occasionally rakish and loose tendencies of Bahuman are well known throughout the upper circles of Asco, no one was quite prepared for the appalling stew of our slew of allegations leveled at him of late. There are growing rumors of the terrible indecencies perpetuated on slaves at debauched gatherings honoring the god of wine, where Bahuman and his lewd entourage exhibit and debase their latest acquisitions from the Emporia of Ubicat. Bahuman denies everything in his most stringent terms, claiming the tales to be lies engineered by his political opponents. The gossip is backed by several witnesses who claim to have been besmirched by Bahuman personally. Slaves, virtuous citizens across Talas are demanding government sanction justice to deter these excesses. We can no longer ignore the situation. He's the family head. He's part of the great family, but I don't know about the head. A token inquiry should be sufficient. As long as he keeps the law to us, but he'll be under investigation. They're going for it. Oh. Trial developments. While the investigation into Bahama was mainly attended as a symbolic gesture to ease tensions, it's clear after some preliminary groundwork by jurists that the accused is essentially guilty beyond all doubt. It is a minor miracle that this did not come to light sooner. The unspeakable goings on at the Oxian Villa uh, scarcely bears thinking about. It is, however, very hard to ignore just how much situations like these lend themselves to less scrupulous and willing to earn the depth and gratitude of their colleagues in need. We'll just have to see what happens. Land. They're gonna have to think twice about this. Nope, they're going for it. They will land next month. Even though there is no natural harbor or port here. But hold your ground. They're gonna want this back. They had the same idea. But obviously. The discipline of our army can defeat any city in Ord. Now, imagine this, if this army were to be fully drilled. Imagine it. A fully drilled army. The scandal draws to close. The investigation into the accusations against Bahuman can finally be brought to close has established his innocence and a matter to the satisfaction of the court. The many concerned parties and witnesses were largely dismissed as disruptive slanderers seeking to undermine the reputation of an important member of, of society for their own nefarious aims. While there are some small backlash over the seriousness in which the trial was conducted, we have at least staved off the major crisis among the slaves and take their interests. A small fine is what he deserves. It was an unfair trial, but we're getting a little bit of gold out of this. Six years old and in perfect health. Charismatic, but Jeff Myers. Return to your port and fix your fleet. Practically got this. What's taking it? Food supply. Oh my goodness, they got a lot of food, but once this falls, it's not gonna matter anymore. And we gotta defeat this one as soon as we can.
we go. Again, we're going to systematically beat him into this submission. So we can have full control of this province. I do not wish to expand further, deeper into Scythian territories of where they traditionally live. So, what do you say? Just Scythia Magna and then you go, okay? Or do you want to defeat them? Just one more big battle for the military experience. Almost there. So what do you say? We'll catch them. We're going to catch them. Let's go beat the bastards. Our ruler's efforts to influence Sayash. Oh, well, and like, in a jovial mood, Sayash approached King Samtish, suggesting a formal declaration of her loyalty and commitment to the court would be a fine way of showing appreciation. We may not convince that this is a politically sensible move. Yipe! Next time, perhaps. measure. As I said, we have no desire to go over there. But now the important question is, that now that we have this, and take that fort down, how much is it for a new fort? It costs us much, but this would definitely, you know, guard the Oxus. Build that here. Disband the levies and accumulate what little experience that you got. Even though most of the fighting was done by this. I want you to drop them off over there because we're deploying to there as a possible next target. Let me see. about to say, if we were to, you know, deploy the levy, where would you be at, you know, location-wise? Because I know you're governor of Scythia, but where in Scythia exactly? This is something I'm a bit concerned about now. Regions, dummy. No, there remains up there, okay. That's fine. Now, do we have contact with Seleucids? We do not. And are at war. The Tapuya Rebellion against Spectre. Well, obviously, they're going to intervene on this matter. But, uh. So now we know that we're going to have to rely on this research that we'll be getting sooner rather than later. To get this and this. So, which is fine by me. This will buy us time to get our manpower reserves up, money to be made, and among other things. Okay. We'll 
will have that fortress soon, and my goodness. Why does it have to be so much? But we do have Scythia Magna. Winding down the Oxus, that's to have claims on Quasmia and Chomria. Um, oh, ah, these, these areas here, which Bacteria also controls. So, no matter what, we will fight against um, Xanthia in future. If we were to go down that way, but it will eventually lead to this. This important thing. So we were going to expand to there no matter what. But hey, minimum loss of life in this war. That's the most important thing. This again? More stability. I'm happy about that. More stability means more research points. Meaning we could get it sooner or later. But do I want to change any walls? Or, better yet, change another. Integrated culture, happiness is always good. National tax, yes. But honestly, I don't think I see any need for any sort of change. Oh, where the heck is it? There's this thing somewhere that I saw that relates to economy. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Also, have that lowered. We're not at war anymore. This all has its negative modifiers, but this is just ways to get money cheaply. So, so that's not exactly what I was trying to look for. Or maybe one of these things. But you gotta check the population. Sackets outnumber all of us. Oh! I hit my head there. Okay, anyways, go pick up our army, and then uh, we'll move out. Drop us up uh, at Alexandria and So we'll be deployed there to get ready for our next potential conflict. Likely against you, since you're the one that broke us, broke us off. We do have a claim on Talos, and, and eventually the rest of you. Which now Kutch is at war. In fact, all the more reasons why we gotta get there. And we gotta get there fast. So we'll keep the stability up, as uh, the Saka culture will be integrated pretty soon. Typing something, I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay. It's just a little chat with somebody that I know. Now. Ready? Drop off here, which you will land on the 13th of August. And after that, you come back to your port.
Sure is defenseless right now, but it's got two forts, so it'll take some time for them to get there. And so do you. Too bad you do not have the ability to for quick march, because we don't have that innovation yet. So I suggest that you probably want to be deployed up here first. Meanwhile, back to your port. that there is a trait, a commander trait, which has, um, you know, the ability to sh move the ships much faster. They have something like that. Ah, yes, I remember. This is going to hurt the legitimacy, but it'll be worth it. He's going to be the heir, just by default, because uh, his martial base by that time is going to be better than his. A decision of Samtish uh, uh, to hold a grand ceremony to nominate a mere child as co-ruler, and official success has been hard to stomach for some of the political grandees in the country. The coronation ceremony may have gone off without a hedge, uh, but there is a scent of brewing among the rich and mighty of Insultia. This is for the best. Not to Xerxes befriended speed enemies. As a result. Speed enemies the physician. On our way. Oh, you started the war. I thought they were after you. I misread that. We won't get fish from them anymore, unfortunately. That's for Fergana. It came from there. It's going to be a long time for us to get there, but we do have levies at the ready. And of course that means you're going to have to go pick up our boys from Scythia. At war with country this culture. Well, I'm sorry that this is, has to happen to you, but circumstances mandate it. The objective is up there. Remember that. Should we have a Kuchin victory? If they're willing to give it at us, that is. Plus, you're one of the best. So, raise that levy. And support Kucha. Just bypass them. Use envelopment. I'm aware that there's a fort there, but it's not our concern yet. He was too slow for a bit, but he j it just disappeared. I know he calls it unfair succession. 
may be prominent, but I'm sorry. This child's got potential. I can see it. you up river and we're gonna drop you off around there and then we'll go back ah, yes that's what I've been waiting for yeah, and we did this first the sack of foot wars that's why we have some light arrows because the discipline but now poison tipped arrows now our archers will be more on the defense. What a nasty surprise for any would-be invaders. Alexander can tell a story about them. <laughs> so our archers will do well in defensive battles. So next time, go for this. <laughs> Supply limit will be beneficial for the armies. Hostile attrition up. Light of tree defense up. That's what we're going to get in the future. So it just makes it look like we are more of a defensible um, force, especially when, for the future, liberation of Sogdiano. That will happen one day. They don't have the manpower to siege this anymore. That ain't beneficial, but it's nice to know. And next time we get this war score cost reduction, maximum war exhaustion reduced, this would help. And I guess I'll likely live long enough to. Get veteran warrior. And once that's all said and done, then perhaps I should get out of this and change my focus since I'm not leading my levies anymore. Because I got better generals now. So, like I'm thinking, like, what I would switch to things that relate to charisma, legitimacy. Oh, all children will gain one. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> wow. But I'm a little late in life, you know. I'm 57 years old, but still in perfect health. Perfect health after I was depressed for a period of time, for those that remember the earlier episodes. Civic is obviously more economic focused. Especially. Yeah. That's a very Sogdian thing to do. Seal here. Use these perks. It's more religious intensive. Obviously. If you're going to be converting a lot of people. Philosopher King. Again, I really like what I see here. Huh. Yes. Slowly but surely. Hmm. Catch. I suggest a small endinium to the often reference law pertaining to the rights of the common folk. It should be only a small, only be a small effort to push this through the court. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, and there's another thing I, that I would have to look at. I mean, we'll keep the stability high. I'm not going to make any changes or anything like that. 
but I was looking at the legitimacy. <clears throat> but fortunately, there's a reason why we gotta keep a positive stability. This legitimacy due to the switching of the primary heirs to my younger son. This would help the legitimacy get back up in no time. As if it weren't a thing. Remember, just my custom beating of who's that's not us in a far flung lands where the wild Scythians ride. There are rumors of war. A bright star has appeared, promising the Dahe a new home amongst the lands to the south. And the messengers from all around bring word of preparations in the steppe. We will be wise to consider our situation. Even the stoic Greek kings should fear this threat. An invasion of the promised magnitude has definitely stabilized the world as we know. Our eyes should remain on the horizon. Zantia. The hey and you didn't consider that, did you? We fought them before. But now they're increasingly bellicose, so we should watch out for them. They're angry as heck now. Even though we still keep a we got a relations, but yeah, I mean they do have a cash spell on us because they do have a territory that they want. But so parlay. Oh, here comes the additional manpower. Again, we're here to assist the Kuchin force. Hey, get off of that. Where to drop you off? Plus another reason to high stability. You are here to assist us along the way. And on these ships. We'll return to boot. Right. Come on, hurry up. We're gonna get this this year. And we'll make contact with them. We'll form attachments with you. Wherever you go, we'll follow you, while we'll deal with our own thing out here. In the midst of the fall of season, Farkun, the wolf, one of our most esteemed governors, held a vast, lavish party in his summer palace in Stardew. Even his most loyal subordinates were shocked by his display of contempt for the plight of the common man. And have written directly to us demanding that some men are just as a serve. Oh, he's gonna hate my guts for this. But I'll just say, the commoners are not a problem. I'll take the popularity hit. No food supply. Uh oh. Will you assist us? Because we might consider fighting. If this doesn't work, then um, that'll be a great loss of life for this. While we'll be taking our real objective of the war. Most integrated. You're not fighting alongside us. You're the reckless one. Not to mention decadent governor. Parthian hordes. Sensing a moment of weakness, the hordes of the Zante 
wastes have decided to send it upon a Seleucid lancers. A pack of wolves would savage a lamb. The attack came without warning. With Basilus Santiochus amongst the first casualties, having been touring the border region when the attack came. Similarly, not content with the apocalyptic turn of events, the nobles of the Seleucid realm have turned on one another, squabbling to determine a legitimate successor. Will the titan of the east fall to ruin? So they declared war against the Seleucid Empire, Horde Conquest. Antiochus Seleucid has been killed, and there's strife within the land there. They've taken Parthia. Oh dear. We should fear them. Third war with Seleucid, Cappadocia. This is... What of Bactria? They are still a satrapy. So this is the new ruler, and this is the new spouse that you must have contact with. So you better save up your political influence and your treasury for this. Okay, we've taken it. Go get the capital. Since all their armies are deployed out there. Move out. Look at you. Hey, wait a minute. Since we have trade relations... No. You ask us a train. Why is it Factria joining them? Disloyal. Parthian regicide. Regicide. Oh. Oh, I see. I mean, even if we declare war on them, they're still gonna come to their aid. But I would still prefer to get them without interference. Unclear which side will win, but it is uh, Lacey's stronger army, so says them. But we have a better general. Let's we'll see how it goes. It. We got him. No, we don't got him. Raise it again until another year. All the more reasons why we gotta go straight for the capital. Again, Kucha started it, but we're here to. So now they have become Parthia, taking up that mantle there, and it is no longer a migratory uh, tribe. Now it's an autocratic monarchy, just like us, and they're known as Parthians, an Iranian culture group. Lariska is the man that you ought to watch out for. Well, we're still trying to improve relations with Parthia. And they are set to become a major power soon. But they become a competing power, so again, beware of the Parthians. is fully integrated now.
we can raise a few levies from Sogdiana, but that also means that there is room to expand our our army, but not yet. We'll still have trade relations with the Parthians. Every little bit helps. I'm mildly concerned about them. We escaped complete to the cursed lands of Chorosmia. Oh boy. They have taken that fortress. But they're not going to engage us. They're not going to engage the Kuchin force of their capital just yet. But we're about to take their capital soon, which I'm sure they're going to be mad as heck about it. Years of food supply they have. Look, once we've taken that, all of this will fall. Except maybe this part, which we ought to take care of that. Tapuria is actually independent. I knew they had a rebellion, but I didn't know they would stick with being independent. So now there are going to be territorial changes, but there also might be a civil war in the Soviet Empire, which is going to cost them even further. So I guess I'll just have to say hello to Parthia as the new great nation. See, there's a bit of territorial changes, so this is where the front line is hot. Eight years old. You got a lot of charisma and some zeal. I can appreciate that. Breach. Alright. For the Freeman happiness. So they can support us more and not to cause any trouble for the local territories. Keep trading with you for the time being. Well, that was easy. I'm sure they're going to want this line back. When are you going to be here? 2nd of February. Turn around. We're going to go in after him. Even though Kucha has failed to take the relevant objective, and that's North Town Basin. Which is all of this. Even though you can't abandon your allies until next year for a separate peace, which would be, you know, a pretty bad idea to alienate your allies like that. political influence for it. Employing skilled orders on our behalf will allow us to anonymously spread the truth about these about those wicked enough to act against our interests. And we'll get this soon even though hey since they're changing the borders back and forth oh we're close enough. 
guess. No, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's due to the fact that their capital is based over... No, not over, over here. Is it? Where is... the alleged capital? Kessifon. It is not Marcus, their capital. But Kesvan is the capital, the traditional capital to look at Empire, that, that was built by them, I believe. Unless it's Babylon. Check Babylon. So look at Babylonia. Mesopotamia. He is the vassal, so that means it is. Mesopotamia. Is it Seleucia? Not Kesaphon? Nope, there it is. I found it. Their capital is. is in Seleucia. Maybe that's why we haven't had contact with them, because of how far away they are relates to how far we've expanded this part. And now there's this out there. We simply do not have the means. But however, if they break away, that's good for us because they're on a verge of a possible civil war. Uh, we'll check back next year. Or so. They can't get theirs back. I mean, we do have trade connections with the Salugits, but what I'm looking for is, um, my goodness, what is it going to look like for the portico? Civil War is likely. Last chance. If this doesn't work, then, um, will have to become a major power in order to interact with them. Or, if heaven forbid, defeat Parthia. Which, again, I fear their most prowess, knowing that they're taking them by surprise. And as well as the instability of things. And we have coding. By making use of pre-decided number of codes for quick communication, we can alleviate the perils of long disk communication to our emissaries and spies in foreign courts. If you want to increase... well, no. The, that's control range. Not diplomatic range. That's two different things. And yet, after all this time, no contact.
Guess we'll have to do it the hard way. Once civil war breaks out, and they're beating the heck out of each other, then we'll intervene and... Well, not intervene. We'll have to attack Bactria the hard way. After we deal with this matter. Split up. Go free the fortress. We'll go after that small army. A long way round, because we can travel faster than you can. I'm all for more stability. Gets the legitimacy up faster. I know you still haven't taken a relevant objective yet, but... You gotta make a move at some point. I hate to come a long way and have this lost to us. My goodness. Murder. We've been informed that Behag was found brutally murdered in his home just last night. Investigators have reported that a Holland sword was used in a crime, a device known to be feared by Shao uh, Hakimi. However, we have no hard evidence to link him with the crime. I don't suppose he's from any other family. He's a minor character. He is a chance of very weak power base. It won't make much of a difference. So I'll say, well, let us all know that we consider him guilty. I'll compensate. Gilded. Accused of murder. Tarnished honor. I mean, we got a disloyal navy, but I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. Let's just finish this little issue and then we'll get it up. Speaking of getting things up, raise a new levy from Amalia and go help liberate Kucha. That's why the port's going down a bit fast. Do not pay for the maintenance. Our well, Chancellor's friends are outside of, far outside our borders. Often trying to use the network to, to the advantage of our nation. He believes his friendship with the Trophies of Bactria could be put to use to increase their opinion of us. All we have to do is send some of our wealth his way and we'll try to improve our reputation in Bactria. We don't care about Bacteria or their opinion toward us. You are a minor character. Gotcha. Got them all. Take this other fortress. Since they want North Tower Basin, that means you have to take this too for them. And I hope they'll give us tell us at the end of it. Or we'll just split the room between us. 
You're on the move. Finally. What took you? See, you're already better than him, and I know it. So look at Empire looks strong, but they have averted civil No they didn't, there is a civil war. Where is the Silicon Revolt? That's the one? Back there? You gotta be joking. And Bactria is involved. And it is no longer under, you know. See, this is the grand opportunity. This is the one. But we got to res but we gotta resolve this issue right now. Civil War did occur. Even though it's a minor one, but that means Bactria is technically independent from their overlords. So they joined up as they resented them. So go help them liberate that land back. They don't have much food. Just take the objective that they wanted. I wish I could have a separate piece, but not until next month. Oh, I'd be a total jackass to break off from Kucha so we could go start a war against Bactria for the liberation of Sogdiana and all that. together now. We just gotta resolve this issue as quickly as we can. Because apparently the Salugids will be stronger than ever. After all this. But regardless, the territories that we may gain may not be enough to make us a major power, but maybe after the Bactrian War we will definitely be a major power. It's all about luck in this playthrough, I believe. Just plain luck. The Wandering Merchant. A few days ago, a foreigner by the name of Euthydemios uh, Epandrides was apprehended on the outskirts of Baxcan and brought before Sam Tish, where it was demanded that the stranger explain himself. In a former life, Euthydemios was a merchant hailing from the city of Athens. But the political upheaval in his hometown resulted in his banishment. After wandering for years, here's the Demios finally reached our lands, destitute and weary. Once he is standing before Samtish, here's the Demios extends a tiny coin purse and falls to his knees. Please, gracious one, accept all I have left in this life, but allow me to stay with you. I can't go on further. Samtish is inclined to show mercy. But there will undoubtedly be some complaints among us. The locals have no desire to live with the exiled traitor in their midst. He was part of the traditionalist faction over in the old country of Athens. You got finesse. He's proud, monotonous, but he's wounded and wise. He has traveled long. More stability? Plus more popularity will make you seen as legitimate in the eyes of many. But I'll say, tell this fool to leave our city at once. What a preposterous thought. Well, we did it because it's for the sake of what do the people think more than anything else. Oh. 
Oh, this is problematic. It's not adjacent to the territory. But we'll make it adjacent. So I guess we'll have to get it through there to connect it to the ones that we wanted. So we're going to do that just to spike them. Barbarians risen in Oral. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's very small. Never mind. So Parthia will likely lose. Will lose to the Seleucids. While... There is a small-scale revolt going on in certain spots. In fact, it's growing a bit. Again, we got to resolve this conflict as quickly as we can. When this territory is ours, then I'm actually going to go for a separate priest and just tell Kocha to... No, this territory will be mine. Even though it will be seen as aggressive expansionists in a big, big way. There are barbarians here. Well, we just have this fort built. Just in case. Yes, raise the taxes for, for once. We could get even more stability, but no, we need to little, make a little more money. Because remember, for the Bactrian War, hire mercenaries. We can definitely pay the upkeep of the cost of these said mercenaries. So I'd have to go, to, go for the one that's from Maraconda. Which we can afford it. Lunatic. Only because it's more numerous than the other. Plus more archers and more spearmen is the real reason. We'll end this episode as soon as the siege uh, is finished up here. Ah, blast it. That's for Ghana. Very important. Set the replace desk to stockpile then. We gotta get our army deployed to the border with Bactria or by Alexandria Scotta where our ships will pick them up and then uh, we will you know, Come on, hurry up. The window of opportunity is closing. assume that the army of the uh, Seleucid Revolt isn't too strong and they wouldn't intervene on Bactrian affairs. Okay. I am sorry about this, but... go for separate peace. These are the lands that I wanted absolutely. It's going to cause quite a bit of aggressive, ex aggressive expansion, especially lands that we have claims to.
Oh no, we're still allies. You must be thinking EU4 mentality. Because when you do a separate piece like that, then, um, you know, it's the one that causes that. Yeah, you're thinking about EU4. Archer discipline. Disband the levies quickly. And our army's gotta get back over there. To Alexandria has got there. And I'm sure most of the Bactrian armies. Uh, I mean, I. Again, the revolt originated from there, and all of this out there. This is Bactrian army's location. This is this is a this is the doing of the Bactrian army out there that we can assume. Just three territories short. So now Kucha remains at war. We can't join him anymore. Spending your money in political influence for this. At least the Sacco will be happy now. We're no longer at war with their culture that we just integrated. As they're the largest population now. So this definitely bolstered the size of our levies. And if need be, increased the size of our legion. But I think uh, we'll do that after the Saudian liberation. As I said, just get to Alexandria, Scotta. We'll have to rely on all forms of levies. And um, I will actually participate in that war myself. <laughs> I'm 61 years old. I'm still in perfect health. We'll have military values soon. You know, it's going to cause more aggressive expansion. But do not fret. So we don't need to do this contact with Soviet Empire anymore. We could just go to war against Bactria directly. Kucha doesn't need to be with us. We'll have to rely on our own wits for this. Since the Bactrian forces are down there. And then it comes to the north. Now manpower reserves will be up by then. When our army arrives, drill a bit. And get the ships ready to transport the Scythian levies to them and all that. Parthia is weak enough to say, hey, we need help. Hey, we've been nice to you, but we were a bit worried about you, but not anymore. I would love to have you as our ally against this Bactrian issue. Tipuria, however, separate conflict. So, this episode's gone pretty long. So, in the next episode, I don't know if this is going to be the one, that the next episode, Sogdian Liberation. Oh, the aggressive expansion is going to be so damn high after this. But we got to do what we got to do. And also, we got some missions to complete to make it all happen and more. Well, we'll see you in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. But until then, so long for now.